entrance. What's up, YouTube? Come on in, guys. So we are at the point where this car is going back together and being delivered, which you guys probably already seen this video, but that's how it goes in the shop. You know, there's multiple things going on, so we're already on to the next. The next project that we're gonna work on, watch your step, is the lightning. The Ford Lightning is a client of ours that's been super patient. He dropped off the truck, we got him on the schedule, and the truck's been here for about a week and a half to two weeks, and we're finally getting started on it. Prepping this vehicle is the most important thing. You know, prepping any vehicle before you're wrapping is the most important thing. So um, what we're doing here is it's already been gone in and we've clay barred the surface. So if you're familiar with clay barring, uh, what we did is we sprayed it down and we clay barred the whole surface and got any of the contaminants out that were, were there that were able to be taken off. Next step from here is to go ahead and hit it with alcohol. This is the isopropyl alcohol. Just cleaning up the, the surface again. So it's all been clay barred, it's been alcohol wiped now. The next step for us is gonna be using the tack cloth, which we talked about in our last video on the BRZ roof wrap. So if you don't know about this, go back to it, but tack cloth is gonna help take up any of the debris that may be left along with anything that came off of the rag. So just a light tack, just pull it all off. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prime the surfaces that, uh, you know, for me, primary areas that don't have clear coat is very important, so like inside this hood. And what primer does is it basically doubles the bond of the vinyl, it helps make it stick and a little bit more permanent. Um, so it's definitely necessary in areas like in here, up here. I might do some right here. So basically I put a little primer on this. So if you guys want more tutorial based uh, video content, we're definitely um, open to do that. We just need to know. So let us know in the comments below if you like you know, the more detailed and, and talking about if you're trying to wrap your own car, I feel like some of these, these key pointers would definitely be an asset. So if you like that, you know, let us know, comment below. We'll keep doing it. So we got all these in-between projects that come in the shop. Um, obviously we have our wraps booked out for about four months right now, but we do have our day-to-days that also come in. So that plays into our uh, our booking, you know, so we are booked out far out because we also take in day-to-day -day stuff. So if you're looking to get your headlights or your taillights wrapped or your roof wrapped, we do book those on the regular basis. Um, so that's what we're doing right now, I'm knocking out a set of headlights, going to do these fog lights, and hopefully have a happy customer. Jose came to the shop, what, like two or three weeks ago? Yeah, two or three And he took this photo of Anthony's car, and uh, he brought it back for us to sign it. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's tight, though. It's a dope photo. Yo, brother, what's your Instagram? Uh, it's Woolpix. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's Woolpix. Yeah, it's, it's just Woolpix. But look at this one. Oh, damn. That's what's Let's going see, up. Let's see. For us. Yeah, this one's going up. I like that. The floor's all yours. So we're two hours in, maybe three hours in. Uh, we got the two fenders done, the hood done, this door is done, that one's getting worked on over there. Um, plan on knocking the bumper out today, and then from there we're gonna move on over to the back of the truck, and we're gonna remove the bed off the truck, and uh, that'll allow us to get the vinyl all the way around, so it'll consistently be gray all the way through, which I think is important. You know, even though the truck's black, I wanna make sure that this looks done, that it was done right, so we're gonna go the extra mile, we're gonna remove the bed, you guys will see the process. We've never removed this bed before, so it's going to be an interesting one. We're going to figure it out, though. So, this one that for my spank bank. All right, guys. So just a quick update. Front bumper's back on. Door panels back on. Mirrors are on. Front bumper gave us a little bit of trouble. It's just a big, bulky bumper. A lot of reinforcement and stuff. Everything has to line up perfectly. And with the wraps, you also have to be careful you're not scratching any of the material that we just freshly wrapped. Am I good now? <laughs> You're good. Let's go see what's up with the fly ride.
got here is our 2015 plus facelift GTR headlights with our strobe and color bolt setup. So hook you up the color bolts. We'll do it on a fade. So we use a XK Glow, XK Chrome app to do all our color changing. It's like fire. Oh, pink. And with this, you have multiple settings. Can I see this? So we do strobes, that breath, fade. So we can slow it down. It's like a heartbeat. Yeah. It's dope. Even slower. Then we can go back to solid. And you can choose the color of your choice. If you want to match your GTR, if you have a blue GTR. If you have purple GTR. Or pink, if you got some red ass hair. Red. <laughs> yellow you name it you could choose your color and one one thing that's great about this app too you have themes and they have a lot of stock themes set up in here or you could do custom themes so my favorite is actually the cop setup and i have it so that it'll actually alternate so my buddy tyler from booster rides and power slides bought us this 2012 genesis coupe uh, the car is currently dipped and we're gonna actually wrap the vehicle. So the dip will be removed and we'll be wrapping it. Uh, the really cool thing about this is he's actually reviewing hand in hand both dip and vinyl. So he's experiencing both and he's gonna be able to tell you guys exactly you know, what his opinions are on it. My opinion, dip is cool. I think it's, you know, I have nothing against it. I think it's a cool uh, alternative to wrapping. You know, everybody's trying to customize their car. Some people's budgets are different than others. And then sometimes in some cases, a dip might be the right way to go. Um, you know, in this case, the car was done really well. It looks really cool. Um, I do believe that the wrap is going to take it a step further and make it a little bit better. But for the most part, this was done really well. So um, we're excited to show you guys the process. Uh, Tyler is going to probably remove the dip himself and then bring it to us, you know, fully prepped. We'll probably show you some footage of the removal so he can talk about that a little bit further as far as how that went. But, um, you know, a, a dip to a wrap is actually a really hard process because you have to go in and you have to clean off all of the dip. You can't like, you know, take all of the main panels and clean it well. It has to be done all the way through. Everything has to be removed. And then in, in places like this where overspray got in there, we gotta get all that out because this is like the main places where vinyl will stick. So we need to make sure that that's all cleaned out, you know, so you can't avoid those spots. We really have to go in and thoroughly clean this car before we actually get to wrap it. So that'll probably take the mo most time. I think that, uh, Wrapping the car will take probably about three days. I think cleaning it might take up to a week to do it right. So a lot of pressure washing and a lot, a lot of cleaning. So I think that's the downside of dip. When you want to revert back to stock, it's very difficult. You know, people say that it's easy, but, you know, think about these edges right here. You're going to have to remove your fenders. You're going to have to remove the doors to clean it properly. So. Mustang, it has really nice aggressive lines on the hood, and uh, you know what we want to do is we want to lay the material in with no no stretch or no you know no overstretch here at all. So basically, what we're doing is he's going to lift the panel and we're feeding it into place. So it was fed in right here, so there's no tension here at all. You know, a lot of times with the hood is what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll set it up, we'll get all stretched and all that. But in this case, you don't want to do that because we want to make sure this lays without any tension. So that's what we did, and you'll see that on this side too. So. Daniel, how pink? Oh, oh. Friends oh. get oh. oh, good. I needed that. Um, so how much uh, TLC did that uh, hood need? This car in general, like every line is, uh, they're very defined. So with that said, like, you never want to, well, what the common trait, what people mostly do is they'll go ahead and lay the material and then they'll kind of bridge it in, they'll push it, push the material in, and it'll look good for about a day or two, and then it'll start to pop up. So with the proper way to do it is to actually feed the material in, you know, so when you're laying it, you're here, you're going to roll it down, and it's just being consistent with that. So this car, like I said, all the way through has that same deal where you need to make sure you're feeding the material here, all these body lines, the body line here, and it needs to be fed. So this one as well, um, and that's in order to ensure like long-term durability, and uh, that's why this is taking a little bit longer for us to go in and do it and make sure that we're laying everything with no tension. If you look at this material right here, there's no tension anywhere. Uh -huh. it's, 
it's all good to go, you know. And when I say yeah. tension, like the common thing for a lot of people to do is this right here. Go like that, stretch the hell out of the material, and they'll expect it to not fail. And that's the exact opposite of what will happen. It'll fail over time. So um, we take a lot of pride in doing, you know, all these projects and making sure that every detail is done properly as well as the proper lay. And that just goes long term for the wrap industry, for the customer, just everybody gets to enjoy those, you know, those benefits. Industry gets to thrive because there's people out there caring and doing wraps right, putting a good name out there for the industry. And that's what we're trying to do. So just to keep pushing the envelope and making wraps better and better and better. Oh. Oh. Check it out. Probably doing my least favorite part of a wrap, doing the door handles. I don't know, there's something about it. Like, I love seeing all the panels come together, but then, like, that last little thing for me, it's always door handles that are left. And you know, people who wrap cars, they probably have a thing that they, they dislike wrapping the most. Most people hate wrapping bumpers. I love wrapping bumpers. I hate doing these, but it's all good. They're fairly easy. So, this is all done with the pre stretch method. If you guys are rappers out there and you're familiar with the pre-stretch method, that's what was done here. So we're actually shrinking it back. Have a nice cool, uh, cool lay, so it just lays really nicely. But yeah, that's that. Maybe we'll show you guys that pre-stretch method soon. Is this your favorite part to do, Mitch? No. What's your favorite part to rap? I don't have any favorite part to rap. By the way, I'm about to graduate college. If anyone wants to hire me, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Hit me up. I was definitely recording. Fuck. <laughs> That's going in the vlog. If anyone wants to hire Mitch because he just got fired right now. <laughs> two month, two more months, graduate of business economics at UCR. Hit me up. I'm done with this place. Just kidding. Oh, Daniel, what do you got to say about that, Daniel? You're about to get Samsonited. 